about it, man. Let's talk about one of the ways, and that's John Harbaugh. I mean, not John Harbaugh, Jim Harbaugh, my bad. Jim Harbaugh, um, as we said in the first hour, we talked about everything Michigan is doing, but there's been a little bit of whispers right now. Diana Russini of uh, uh, NFL, of the NFL coverage on ESPN, she said that the Is Bears, the athletic? Uh, yeah, the athletic, uh, she said the Bears front office have had conversations about possibly bringing in a Jim Harbaugh, um, you know, if they decide to get rid of a Matt Eberflus. I think even Dan Patrick talked about this a little bit on his show as well. Now, all I know is somebody covers the team, the Bears don't really tell anybody anything, so I don't really know how true this is. Not to say their sources aren't right or anything, these are two highly sourced people and actually Diana Rossini got the Aaron Rodgers news ahead of time way ahead of time even when when Aaron was like well I don't even know her and things like that I'm gonna go with you first bang man because you, you kind of gave us a little taste of the dope in the first hour on what you feel about this particular situation yeah man Jim Harbaugh is gonna be the next coach of the San Diego Chargers not gonna the come San to Diego. Chicago <laughs> well LA Chargers the Carson you know Chargers saying. Yeah, the Carson Chargers, them them other niggas that over there where the Rams play, <laughs> the other niggas so far. Yeah, man, if I'm looking at the Bears, I'm looking at the Raiders, and I'm looking at the L.A. Chargers, nah, man, he, he, he going back to the West Coast. He going to L.A., and when he go to L.A., he's going to go there with a quarterback that he knows could be a pretty good quarterback. He just needs his help because there's no reason in hell that the L.A. Chargers should have the record that they have right now with the quarterback they got. And it's not really the quarterback's fault. It's the coach's uh, fault. But, you know, you got Khalil on one side. Look, he's going there, all right? And then plus, if you fire Brandon Stanley, the GM is going to. And then that way you can hire Jim Harbaugh and he can have the the final say on personnel matters. Uh, And then you can hire a GM that's going to be able to help him out. He's not going to get that with the bears and i think that's what people are missing they just hear jim harbaugh former chicago bear quarterback you know played under mike dicker yada 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 but ryan pose is not going to give up control of the team and i don't think jim harbaugh is going to a team where he don't have the final say in personnel matters after he just come from college where he has the final say on personnel matters and he's had success with that in San Francisco. So I am off the Jim Harbaugh thing right now. And I'm just looking at some of the the, the coordinators just in case Matt Eberflus shits the bed the last three out of four games and they have to fire him. Um, but I'm also looking at coordinators too. Because even as a coordinator, you got to look at this Bears team and say to yourself, am I better off staying where I'm at? or going to be the Bears' offensive coordinator where the head coach might be on borrowed time. So that's something to think about, too. Uh, but I'm looking at Kevin Warren, and I've been saying it all year long, that Bunk Warren got to talk. I said he need to go watch the game at the 50, since nobody ain't going to know he the president of the Bears there. He's just another nigga with a drink in his hand. Watch the game somewhere, man. But at, the, at now, it's time for you to start talking, all right? It's time for you to start talking. It's time for you to be to let people know what you feel, or at least some of the things that you're thinking about. Um, and do I and and to end it off, man, do I think that Eberflus's job is in jeopardy? Yeah, depending on how they finish up the season. But I also think that Ryan's Ryan Poe's job is in danger, even though technically he's been he's did a a a, a decent job at the draft last year. But I think Kevin Warren really wants to bring in his own people. And I think that that also entails him bringing in or allowing them to bring in the quarterback of their choice, depending on how the, the draft goes. Dante, what you think about this Jim Harbaugh smoke? Uh, I think it's real. I think they have a conversation. And I also think, you know, to quote Scott, uh, at the end of the day, we don't know shit. And so mm-hmm. the idea that the Bears are just, you know, stuck on being the Bears, if all of these rumors about Kevin Warren, which is what I've been paying to more pay, paying attention to more than anything. These rumors about him having, you know, more say so in the football operation. Then I think the hardball the hop the hardball talk is very real because you know you can take a page out of the Cubs book where you go and get a guy, like you, you stop being just a team, a big team in Chicago, you know, act like a big team, go get that big name, and um. 
as far as uh Ryan Pace and his job security, uh, even though he has, you know, gathered some pieces at the end of the day, like you say, Kevin Warren didn't hire him, so he could fire him. And it is what it is, it's just business. They say Kevin Warren is methodical, he's you know, he's all, all business, it's really just cold, there's no feelings involved, and so that's what that's what the bears need. We need, we have too much, too many, there's too many feelings involved. It's too much family. It's too much tradition when your tradition hasn't won you shit since 1985. You feel me? So, um, I think the hard walk smoke is real. And I think he and Kevin Warren, uh, actually sit down and have that conversation about exactly how much power Jim wants. And they go from there because you do have the ties and it, you know, as much as he is a West coast guy, you know, um, coming back to Chicago, he knows, you know, if he can win in Chicago, he's he's God level. Like that's that's just different. So I that's like I said, perfect scenario is Michigan wins this national championship, and then he says, "All right, now I'm going to go win a Super Bowl." And so I think he sits down with Kevin Warren, and they have a conversation. They have two things: one is the control, the other thing is Justin Fields. And I think it, depending on what Harbaugh says, anything outside of I'm a draft whoever the what's the quarterback from Michigan, JJ, outside JJ of drafting it, yeah. If he says some silly shit about bringing him in, then absolutely not. But if he says, you know, I want Caleb, I want Drake May, I think Warren considers giving him that no matter what Justin does to finish this season. So I think it's very real. Yeah, I, I'm, I agree with you, Dante. I think this is very real. Uh, I do not think that, you know, the, the Bears are sending smoke screens out there. I tell you, they move like the mafia. But I'm just going to use common sense. I believe these conversations are being, being had. Um, I do believe the uh, Kevin Warren smoke that we've been hearing uh, from guys like Albert Beer, guys like Tom Pelissero, who was at Monday Night Football, by the way. I'm just going to say that. He was at Monday Night Football <laughs> last week. Tom Pelissero was there. Um, I like we, Me and Bane been saying this all year. Kevin Warren is the wild card. You know what I'm saying? We keep hearing about this guy. You know what he's gonna do. You know what 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 he wants to be involved with. And there's a couple things I can't say on air that I have got confirmed, and I'll tell y'all after the show that makes me even more confident that he's going to you know pull rank. I guess I think it's real. I think it's real, and I think that maybe maybe even flows win or losses don't really matter because if it could be something where I'm hoping. That no matter how many games Eva Flues wins, that maybe he pulls a Jed Hoyer. Like, okay, yeah, you, you did what you need to do. We finna bring somebody more qualified in. And I do think there's gonna be a conversation to be had. The the, the McCaskey family, you know, we can sit up here and talk about tradition and everything. They love that nigga like he is their own kid. They love Jim Harbaugh. You know what I'm saying? You know how they always have, well, he, he played under Mike Dick. All the crappy stuff that the Bears organization loves talking about, he checks all the boxes. And, yeah, like you said, Ben, he could be the Chargers coach. He could be the Panthers coach. But let's be real. Them niggas ain't moving the needle. It's not the Bears. I don't care that they got a, a great quarterback in Justin Herbert. I don't care that, you know, that, you know, Tepper will probably sell him North Carolina to try to save Bryce Young. These are all reasonable things that you're bringing up. But this is the Bears. We all know Jim Harbaugh likes the challenge. We all know Jim Harbaugh is going to leave anywhere. He left the comfortable situation in San Francisco to come back home to Michigan. You know, he's a Michigan man. Now he wants to come back home to the Bears. I'm not going to say what percentage that's going to happen because it's the Chicago Bears and Chicago Bears. I will not believe that he's actually head coach. Until I see him at the press conference at 1920 football draft, I'm not gonna put too much dip on my chip. But I think it's very real, and I think it's very much a possibility. And I also think Kevin Warren, if that what we're hearing is true, he's gonna. I'm not saying he's gonna fire Ryan Poles because I do feel like Ryan Poles has done enough to keep his job, and we'll close this episode with the things that he's done. But it might be one of them things where it's like, yeah, you the GM, but I'm running this show. And you're going to have to work together with Jim Harbaugh. And if you don't like that, I'll get rid of you too. And as, as somebody who's a big fan of Justin, I've been a big fan of Justin even before he was a bear. Like I've always said, but if Jim Harbaugh comes in, he's like, look, I like Justin, like what he does, but I love this kid, Caleb, better. And I want to go with Caleb. I'm fine. I, you can sell me on Caleb Williams with a Jim Harbaugh and a new offensive coordinator. You can sell me on that as much as I love Justin. Or maybe he might look at Justin and be like, yo, I can fix it. Either way, if you bring Jim Harbaugh, 
I'm buying what they're selling. So I feel like it's a real big possibility. I feel like if Kevin Warren wants to make this, we're not doing the old school Bears tradition anymore. He brings in a big name coach. He pays them big name money, gives him control. And then you're going to take this, uh, you know, this franchise into the new millennium that they should have got in a long time ago. So I think I think it's very real. I think it's very, very real. Uh, Bank, you have a hey, hold on, hold on, real, real quick. And I, I'll say this, and I'll say this we talk about the Chargers. One thing we know about Jim Harbaugh, he doesn't want to be second fiddle. And if you yep. go be head coach of the Chargers, you're fifth, sixth, seventh, I guess, sixth, fiddle. seventh fiddle. Like, yeah. See, I see, I like, think there's, I mean, I think it's an outside chance because them boys are gonna be huff in quite some time because they ain't got no shit to replenish it. But I think there's a chance for you to not be second fiddle in LA with them, um, with the Chargers and how they could be set up. No, they're gonna always be to six the, or seven. Fit. They they can bring yeah. Tom Brady back. No, no nobody no, care I, about I, the Chargers. I'm, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm, I'm, yeah, the fans wise don't nobody give a damn. But I'm talking about that that team can that team can win with him and win big <laughs> and win quicker than you can with it. If he go to Carolina, you get the fuck up out of here for that shit. Like they don't have they don't have shit to try to even replenish with this year. I if I was anybody, I'll stay clear away from uh Carolina. Uh, but with the Bears, I understand what we got, and I understand that it's the well, Bears. can I can I say this real quick? Go ahead. You say they can win quicker. 15 is in that division. Look, I, I look if I'm Jim Harbaugh, I'm looking at the landscape of the north. That's not in nobody that's dominating that. 15 gonna be there for a minute. No, no, I, I totally get that, and I totally understand that. But that just shows me what I think about the Bears as an organization and they're thinking that I think that you could win quicker and easier in LA with the charges than you can with the bears. That's interesting. Dante, do you have one and, more thing and, as we move on? And, and, and before, I, before I just, if he comes, I think that the, with the, with the bears and what we're seeing right now, I think the interesting part is we've seen improvement. Oh, 100%. We've 100%. seen yeah. improvement. So do you, Look at that improvement and still make changes on the offense side of the ball of the whole team. Like that's something to think about too. I think that's a that's a fair argument, and that's why I said I do feel like Eber Flu staying. And I say this: if they kept you Flu, if they get rid of Getsy and they give you an actual like offensive coordinator who knows what they can do, as much as I want want Jim Harbaugh, especially with the with the the upgrades that the defense made, you can sell me on that. Does it, is that something I want? No. But it's not something that I would be like, okay, you know, I hate it. But I, I'm I'm at the point I'm fully Team Harbaugh. Like, I'm, like, all in on that where I want that to happen. Doesn't mean it's going to happen because this is the best. But, Dante, anything on that before we move on to the next topic? Yeah, no, bro. I just think um, with the way things started this year compared to where they are now, mainly the team is healthy. But you, it's time for them to really think outside of the box. And it's like with Ryan Poles – yeah, you've done that. You like you said, you brought in some pieces and whatnot, but then you come to him and say, "Hey, uh, I'm about to bring Jim in." You know how Jim operates. You can work with him, or you can we'll yeah. let you grant you your release. You go work for somebody else. But we bringing this guy in here. We finna do this. He's about to work with Justin or get his guy. You know they'll have that conversation as well. But nah, I think it's time, man. Like we got to stop. I don't no more, no more first time head coaches. Like fuck that. Like no. Yeah. Yeah. Then paper on these player haters old news money on the other line so I'm not gonna hold you money on the other line so I'm not gonna